Did you know that molluscum contagiosum affects around 1 in 10 children at some point in their childhood? Imagine discovering mysterious bumps in your child's skin and not knowing what they are or how to treat them. When I was doing my GP training over 20 years ago, I was taught that molluscum contagiosum don't need any treatment at all. However, I've since learned that many parents don't want to wait for months to years on their child's lesions to clear. So what can be done? Thankfully, there are quite a few options, including hope for a brand new treatment, and I'll discuss these later in the video. It's a common viral infection of the skin that causes small, firm bumps ranging from 2 to 6 millimeters with central dimples. It's caused by a pox virus. Sometimes it could be misdiagnosed as a wart or acne or folliculitis. The number and appearance of the lesions can vary widely from person to person. This variability can make it difficult to recognize and diagnose. And since molluscum contagiosum often resolves on its own, it may be seen as a less significant or not requiring medical intervention. Perhaps you've felt that your health provider has played it down and not offered you any treatment. That can leave you frustrated. I'd love to know any experiences you've had on that in the comments below. Molluscum spreads primarily through direct skin-to-skin -skin contact and sharing contaminated items like towels. It usually takes two weeks but as long as six months after exposure to an infected individual before the lesions first appear. So it can be difficult to tell when and where you may have picked it up from first of all. People with conditions like eczema that compromise the skin barrier function are also at a higher risk. Many adults will have had the molluscum contagiosum virus when they were younger and so are unlikely to catch it again from their children as they will have already developed an immunity to the infection. Molluscum contagiosum can be a sign of a compromised immune system. In adults, the presence of these small, firm bumps might indicate a weakened immune response and a HIV test should be considered. Normally they're easy to diagnose by their appearance, but your healthcare professional may decide to use a dermatoscope to confirm the diagnosis. However, if the lesions are very large or unusual appearance, a biopsy might be required. Complications are generally uncommon but include bacterial superinfections like impetigo, especially if the lesions have been excoriated or scratched. Scarring can occur either on its own or following the treatment procedures which I'll discuss shortly. Currently in the UK there are two products which can be purchased online or from a pharmacy without a prescription. Molutinct is a 10% potassium hydroxide solution and Moludab 5% potassium hydroxide. In my experience, the slightly weaker preparation Moludab is easier to get hold of. They have detailed information on their website. Basically, they advise its use from the age of two years and upwards. The liquid must be applied directly to the molluscum contagiosum spots twice a day, preferably once in the morning and once in the evening. Occasionally, it can cause a slight burning or irritation to the skin, but this usually only lasts a few minutes after it's applied. They recommend to stop using when the inflammation lasts longer than 12 hours on the spots or if you've reached 14 days of treatment. Then you wait for one to four weeks for the inflamed lesions to heal. These treatments work by irritating the spots and causing them to become inflamed. The immune system then detects the virus and clears the spots up. There are some other medical options available and they work in a similar way by activating the immune system. And some of these treatments include physical treatments such as cryotherapy or freezing with a cold gas, curatage or laser ablation treatment. The cryotherapy can be a very effective treatment for older adults and children, but in young children, it's difficult. They rarely tolerate it because it becomes quite painful. So what's this hopeful new treatment? Well, in exciting news, at least in the USA, the FDA has approved a new treatment for molluscum. Verdazomer contains topical nitric oxide and is applied daily to the lesions. It has been shown to be very effective treatment and it's also been studied for use in acne. However, unfortunately, at the time of this video in 2024, it's not currently available in the UK. Children with molluscum do not need to be kept off school, nor should they be barred from swimming or other activities. Molluscum contagiosum is a common contagious viral skin infection that poses little medical threat for children and adults with normal immune systems, but they can negatively affect quality of life for the child 
or even the parent. Management needs to balance the benefits of any risks of treatment which can be painful and cause inflammation. Or you can just leave them alone and allow them to clear up on their own time, although this can take six to 18 months and sometimes even longer. I've included some other sources of information in the description below. And the next video describes pyogenic granulomas which also commonly affect children.